the duct tape. Stacey Dittrich, uh, former detective and author of The Devil's Closet, that is some uh, really good police work to notice that, uh, first, the, I guess the autopsy revealed a heart shaped imprint of sticky, of the adhesive. adhesive. Then they go out and actually find the little sticker. It's amazing police work, which is what they've done clear up until now. And with the, he the adhesive on the duct tape, it tells me that it was actually, it's been there a while. It was old, it fell off. And for them to find that, again, the Orange County Sheriff's Department throughout this whole thing has been amazing and done a great job with this. This is just another piece of the puzzle that they're going to solve. Out to the lawyers. We are taking your call. Uh, Stacy. I've learned the toy horses usually come in packs. Now, say this little horse was part of a group of toy horses. What does that mean? Well, they're going to look for the, the matches, just like the sticker. Which uh, shows us... Which what? shows us that it came from inside that house. And what I thought that was interesting that they did was that they included the photographs, any photographs inside the house, which if they don't find the, the missing pieces, there right. may be photographs that they were there at some point inside that right. home. Right. Out to the lines, Donna. Because what effect do you think that will have on a jury to suggest somebody snuck into the house or came into the house to run a Google search? I think they're going to find it as ridiculous as we do. It's, it's ridiculous. And any prudent person in your home, you know who has access to your home and who does not. And to suggest that this was a stranger that came in and searched their computer when she's the main suspect, when this child ends up dead, it's ridiculous. And I don't think anybody will buy it. On the other hand... This was a hot and heavy operation that was going on out there. With the owner's consent, investigators went inside the home where they found clothes piled up, dog feces in every room, and urine-soaked floors. The smell was um, just about unbearable for all of us. We had to open up all the windows. They had guns uh, placed on every window of the residence. There was also drugs, mainly marijuana, and trace amounts of coke and heroin. This is ongoing, and this is just merely the beginning of this because something like this tends to spawn numerous other things. At a Walmart to Stacy Dietrich, former detective and also author of The Devil's Closet. Stacy, weigh in. You know, Nancy, this is such a disturbing story and, and it's heart-wrenching to everybody, but you also, it, it is the lesser of two evils. I would much rather see this mother do this than what some of these other maniacs across the country are doing and tossing their kids Stacey, off a bridge. Stacey, certainly you're not telling me those are my two horrible alternatives. One, you could murder the child, or two, you could abandon it at a Walmart. How about taking care of it if you want to put it up for adoption and go through the correct channel? Well, of course, but she's from Guatemala, so is she even capable of knowing what, what it is to do? I'm not defending her by any means, but, um, That's you know, a good point. That's an excellent point. Maybe she didn't understand what could be done. To Stacy Dietrich, former detective and author of The Devil's Closet, Stacy, that this was not investigated before Stacy Peterson went missing. Right, Nancy. Um, what I also find uh, strange about this whole thing is when Kathleen Savio's body was also found, um, it should have immediately been ruled suspicious and uh, processed as a, as a regular crime scene. So the fact that he has done questionable things on duty before is, is no surprise. Whether or not he had anything to do uh, with the actual processing of the crime scene during Kathleen Savio's investigation, I don't know. But it, it is surprising that he was allowed back on the force after that. I want to go out to Stacy Dietrich, a uh, private investigator, former detective and author. Stacy, uh, in this particular case, investigators go to search the home. Aside from meth, what else would they have been looking for? Well, naturally, Nancy, the first thing they're going to want to look for is the baby's bottle. In fact, that is the key, the key point of evidence here as far as the, the child being poisoned. Um, they're going to clearly search the residence for other signs of child neglect, uh, food in the refrigerator, whether electricity is on, whether there's running water, whether this child is being cared for appropri appropriately. But most importantly, they're going to look for that bottle.